I cheated on my husband with his best friend. May 46, male with my wife. 45, male, married 26 year. Reading an old diary led to a revelation. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. I cheated on my husband with his best friend. And I am completely devastated. I moved across the country to be with him, knowing nobody else here except him. He is in the hardest division on a Navy and thus has a very little free time, but we take steps to work on keeping our relationship alive normally. In the beginning, we did preventative couples therapy. Now, I go to individual therapy once a fortnight and see a psychiatrist for medication every month. But lately, since I'm taking a really heavy load of classes for the summer because I wanted to graduate with my associates before we got our next orders to move, I didn't want to transfer all my credits to another place we were supposed to get our next orders in October. I haven't had as much time to put into our relationship, and since he's so used to me doing it, he hasn't been doing it either. He still loved me though. He loved being with me, did little things for me when he remembered. I felt like lately we hadn't been talking as much in his free time, he lives at 5.15 for work and comes home at 8.30 to bed, by 11 at least, so we get two or three hours together. He is usually hungry and tired, and I don't like to burden with him with my problems or talk about our relationship. I normally like to just make myself happy or talk it out with my therapist instead. I know he's tired and busy, but since... I've been tired and busy too. We'd been avoiding each other's emotional issues and as a result, had felt a little distant. So to the point, we went out for a night downtown with a friend in question and a couple that we know to start of celebrating the 4, day 4th of July weekend and spent the night after at a couple's apartment. Husband passed out drunk and I ended up getting it on but let's call him X on a couch. Husband wakes up, walks in, goes crazy, starts screaming, punching X until he runs away. Runs outside, neighbor who is off duty cop intervenes, makes sure I am able to get home to our marital home, which husband, let's call him H, wanted to keep me out of. Other friend of H drives us both home and lets me in. Takes H back to his place. I sent him exactly two texts since. Apologies. Short and to the point, respecting his right for silence. His need to sort out his feelings. I am aware of the consequences of my actions and I need to live with whatever decision he makes. But I hope that in the future we are able to talk and that I don't want this to end. I need to see my therapist to talk about what the hell was going through my mind when it happened. I love H, at least, I thought. I did, but I know cheating is a sign of underlying issues. I have never had a single indiscretion and never even thought about it before. I regret it so badly. Every single bone in my body hurts and my heart actually aches. He saw it. He saw it. It happened. He will probably never get over that. I don't know what to do. I fucked up worse than I never fucked up in my life. I wasn't going to try to do it and get away with it. I was going to tell him. I already knew it was wrong when I was doing it, but I didn't want him to find out by walking in. That's horrible for him. I don't know if he will never look at me the same again. I didn't post this to relationships because I have already made my bed and I'm lying in it. 
I don't need you're the scum of the earth. He deserves better and he will leave your ass. Throw at me because I already know that. I just needed to get it off my chest. This happened Thursday night. I sent my few texts on Friday. I have been completely alone in our apartment since then. I haven't had any interaction with another human being. I've considered suicide, cutting myself, drinking myself to fall asleep. I don't even know. I'm just so fucking lonely and alone. I hate myself. I wish he would talk to me, but I promised myself to text would be the maximum until he's had his space to sort out his feelings. I want him back. I want him to at least message me. I want something. I want not to be alone. Well, I'm going through this. But I'm miles and miles away from my family or friends. This is all my own fault and that fact makes it hurt so much worse. Thanks for listening. May 46, male, with my wife, 45, male, married 26 year, reading an old diary led to a revelation. Yes, we were married very young and have two adult children who are out on their own. Typical high school sweetheart stuff here, each other's first, etc. I'll cut to the chase. When I was young, 22, I had an affair that lasted about five weeks. It was the dumbest thing I've ever done. I was a scumbag. I know it now, and I knew it then. Wife caught on, and I finally slept sense into myself broke things off and spent the next 24 years of my life trying to make up for it. I would go through bouts of guilt and depression so bad that it would be crippling to me emotionally. I am not asking for sympathy for that. I deserved it, and I know it. She, of course, at first was devastated, and I hurt her more than anything. I will even cry to this day about hurting her like that. The look in her face when I finally admitted to the affair is something I will take to the grave with me. For the first five to seven years after the affair, we were married and still love each other. But she obviously guarded her heart. Believe me, I understand why. And there would be days where she would cry over something that would remind her of it. As the years went on, she didn't bring it up as much, but there wasn't a year go by where at least two to three times that it came across, and she would be hurt by this. Some of it, by her own admission, was jealousy because I had been with someone else. Again, not once did I ever say anything about it other than to try and comfort her and apologize to her. A 20 years post the affair, she said she wanted to be done with it and embarked on nights of long and, I mean, long discussions trying to deal with things that we should have probably dealt with years ago. This led to lots of painful talks. She wanted details 20 years later and the same thing over and over of why. I know that I fucked up. I know that what I did was unforgivable by most people, and I have always been so grateful that she forgave me. I honestly have done everything I can think of to be the husband she could be proud of and support her. We have had a good life together, and now that we are on our own, we are kind of enjoying each other again like we haven't since we were both kids. This enjoyment was led to us re-exploring out youth and our dating times as teens. We have been looking at old photos of us and reading old love letters to each other. Yes, we are so old that we actually wrote letters on paper. We both kept journals as kids when we have been sharing them with each other. 
Hers are kind of silly in mind, or downright embarrassing to read. However, this has led to a discovery. She has obviously forgotten that she wrote in that book. Well, up into our marriage and past the affair. I don't know if I wasn't supposed to read this. She had given me the book to read a chapter of, but I didn't stop. I kind of skimmed over the book and found how unhappy she was right after we got married. How she really thought she made a mistake and found herself attracted to her old boss at work. Again, I don't fault her or even use that as justification for what I did. I skipped too after the affair, and it was some heartbreaking stuff to read. I freely admit to sitting there, bawling and racked with guilt again. I was feeling like shit until I came to the part where I read that she acted upon her attraction to her boss, who was like fifteen years older than her at that time. He was also married. In other words, one night after work, she screwed him in his office. Now the next part was her writing about the shame of doing it, how bad she felt, whether or not she should confess to me, and ultimately that she quit the next day. She told me she got laid off. I put the journal down, shaking. This was twenty-two or so years ago. She did it within two months of me admitting to my affair. I am now a conflicted mess. Part of me says I have no right to feel anything about this, and that I should just move on and pretend like I never saw it. But there is a part of me that is so very hurt that she not only allowed me to suffer for years with guilt, but that she played that I've only ever been with you. Card, which made my depression even worse. I get that she felt guilty herself, and she did not even believe that I could have gotten over her being with someone else. I don't know what I'm looking for here. I feel betrayed, and not just in the fact she slept with another man, who would be getting close to sixty now, but the fact. That she let me wallow in this despair for over twenty years, when in fact she has done something very similar herself, and has not had to endure any ramifications other than whatever she has put on herself, which I admit it probably bad if I was anything like mine, but for whatever reason it feels uneven. Should I even talk about this with her, or should I just chalk this up as another thing I deserved?